here with Monitaz Aslan Pry, who became the latest 1,000 point scorer in District 9 girls basketball uh, Wednesday night when she scored 31 points in a win over Clarion Limestone to give her exactly 1,000 in her career. Congratulations, Aslan. Thank you. Uh, you know, going into tonight, you needed 31. Um, did you uh, did you think that you know you had a shot at it tonight, or did you think it might have to wait till the playoffs? Um, I thought I had a shot, but I knew that it was going to take a lot to get it tonight, and I was just trying to have fun. And it was our last home game, so just trying to take my opportunities when I had them. And if it happened, it happened. What does it mean to you to score a thousand points? It means a lot to me. It's something that I've looked look forward to and that I'd maybe get to someday and just means a lot that it's a big goal and all, a lot of people achieve it so I'm very grateful that I got to. Um, when did you uh, like I guess like when did you start thinking about it like when did you start realizing that it was a possibility? To be honest I didn't start scoring much until my junior year so it wasn't that big of a possibility I didn't think that much of it and then this year I knew that it was pretty far fetched to get it. And at these last few games, I was getting closer and closer and I thought that I could maybe get it. And luckily we got some more game scheduled thanks to my athletic director. He did a good job of getting us our full schedule. So I was lucky that I could get it and get it at home with all of our fans tonight. Uh -huh. more fans would be there, which was very nice. To do it with your mom on the bench as an assistant coach, is, is that extra special to you? Yeah, it definitely was something that's very nice, and not a lot of people have that. Uh, you know, you did it in style, 31 points, but also 27 rebounds. Uh, you know, you've had some rebounding games, but have you ever had quite a night like tonight? I don't think so. Um, what's your mentality with the rebounding? Like, what, what are you thinking about when you're out there, and, and what, what leads you to, to, to end up with so many rebounds? I think anything I can do to help my team, and just starting with rebounds is something that, I can do pretty easily. I'm taller and I just go for the ball and rebounds that turns to points that turns to assists that helps convert a lot of other things on the floor. Who would you say has had the most influence in your basketball career? I'd say all my family and my coaches and my teammates too. Um, the, uh, when, when we look at Aslan Pry away from the basketball court, what are some of the things you like to do? <laughs> I like to be outdoors a lot. I like camping and boating and stuff like that. Um, as you guys uh, head into the playoffs, where do you feel you're at? Like, do you like where you, how the team's playing right now? I do. I think we're definitely starting to play together as a team. We lost one of our freshmen, got injured. So we've had some more people step up and just working together to gel as a team. And I think that will help us in playoffs. You guys have such a young team. Um, how much as a senior did you feel like you had to show leadership this year? I definitely thought I had to show leadership going to, into this year because a lot of these girls haven't even played JV, let alone varsity, and they just were thrown into these games. Some big games, too, right off the bat from the start of the season. So just well, trying Aslan, to work and help yeah. them out. Well, Aslan, thanks for joining us here tonight, and uh, congratulations again, and good luck in the postseason. Thank you so much.